inside I want to see mama And I want to see dad They were the best friends I ever had Mama would get up late at night We'd have church sometime all night Tell the world, bye, 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 bye I'm going on the other side I'm going on the other side I'm going on the other side Said I made up my mind I'm going to leave the soul world behind I'm going to walk down To the river of Jordan Step down on the track captain the captain I see he's riding on the old ship of Zion and he's looking for me I'm gonna walk down river of Jordan step down on the tide gonna turn around and tell the world bye bye going on the side one of these old moments good God it won't be long you're gonna look for me you know that I'll be gone I'm gonna walk down to the river of Jordan step way down on the tide the side one of these old mornings thank God it won't be long you gonna look for me you know that I'll be gone I'm gonna walk down the river of Jordan step down on the tide Gonna tell the world bye bye bye. Going on the other side. Yeah, yeah. Still I'm going on the other side. Gonna see my, 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 my mother. I'm going on the other side. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna get a chance to see my brother when I get there on the other side. I got three Bible stories I'd like to talk to you about for just a few minutes. Story number one is about five foolish virgins and five wise virgins. All ten of these virgins had their lamps filled with oil. But before midnight, the five foolish virgins' lamps ran all the way out of oil. But the five wise virgins still had oil in their lamps. And around midnight the cry was made, Behold, the bridegroom coming. That means the five foolish virgins was lost, the five wise virgins were saved. We're gonna move on to story number two. 
story number two is about Moses and the children of Israel. Remember when God told Moses he wanted him to go down to Egypt? And Moses said, God, you sure you got the right man? God said, I got the right man. I want you to go and I'm going with you. But when Moses got down there, the Lord worked miracles. He sent plagues, turned the water into blood. But it was about midnight when the last plague came down. The death angel came down at midnight and all the firstborn of the Egyptians had to die. That was around midnight. But I want you to pay real close attention to the third story. It was about Paul and Silas when they were locked up and bound in jail. Silas got a little nervous and it was getting kind of late at night. But Paul knew how the Romans thought. As a matter of fact, Paul grew up in Rome. He knew exactly when they went to sleep. But his brother Silas had got a little nervous and he said, Paul, I don't know if we're going to make it out of this one or not. What are we going to do? Paul looked at brother Silas and told him these words right here. I'm going to wait till the midnight hour. That's when the Roman soldiers go to sleep. I'm going to wait till the midnight hour. There'll be Jesus, you and me. He's the only one I know. He can save our soul. I'm going to wait till the midnight hour. Silas said, Paul, what we gonna do then? Paul said, I'm gonna sing to the midnight hour. That's when the Roman soldiers go to sleep. I'm gonna sing to the midnight hour. There'll be Jesus, you and me. He's the only one I know. He can say. I'm going to wait till the midnight. And about midnight, that was a great earthquake. God told one of the angels to go down and set both of them free. About midnight, when the earthquake took place, the shackles came off of Paul's hand, came off of Silas' hand. All the jail cells, the doors opened up. The Roman soldiers was laying up there sleeping. One of the brothers jumped up and said, wait a minute, all the prisoners are gone. He drew his sword, got ready to kill himself. Brother Paul said, wait a minute, do thyself no harm because we're all here. About that time, the Roman soldier ran over and got down on his knees and said, brothers, what must I do to be saved? Paul looked at him. And you know what Paul told him? He told him these words right here. You gotta wait till the midnight hour. That's when the Roman soldiers go to sleep. Wait till the midnight hour. There'll be Jesus, you and me. He's the only one I know. He can save our soul. I'm gonna wait. Silas said, Paul, what you gonna do then? I'm gonna love to the midnight hour. That's when the Roman soldiers go to sleep. I'm gonna love to the midnight hour.
takes all my wants and wishes, wishes known in seasons of distress and grief. The tippy, tippy snack But I return Sweet of a prayer Sweet of a prayer The joy I feel, the bliss I snare of those whose angel spirits, spirits burn. With such a hasten to the place where God, the Savior, shows, shows his face and gladly take my station. Yes, I will for thee, sweet eye, sweet eye a prayer.
by the thunder don't rope You tear me over there The wind don't blow Where the rain don't fall I'm gonna leave this whole world I won't be back no more I'm determined From so far away Jesus would give me love And brighten up my day He would make me righteous Jesus would make me whole I could feel love way down Way down in my soul I want to go Where the thunder don't roll They tear me over there The wind don't blow I'm gonna leave the soul where I won't be back no more When I wake in the morning And I'm feeling a little down I go to noonday prayer Way downtown When I get there A praising name I thank him for all the things he's done And I bless his name I want to go Where the thunder don't roll They tear me over there The wind don't blow I'm gonna leave this old world I won't be back no more I can hear mama's heartbeat From a thousand miles I go running to her When the sun goes down Mama makes it righteous Daddy makes it whole Jesus put peace way, way down in my soul. I want to go where the thunder don't roll. talk to you about a few of the churches in the New Testament for a few minutes. You know, Paul went on his missionary journeys after the Lord saved him, converted him, and made a preacher out of him. The Lord sent him around from city to city, from church to church. And there was a few things that were going on in some of the churches that shouldn't have been going on. Paul had to make his way down to Macedonia. Paul got down there and preached the gospel, but before he left town, he told him these words right here. Oh, Zion, what's the matter now? 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 You don't preach like you used to. 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 Then Paul had to go on down to a church called Ephesus. There was some things going on in Ephesus that shouldn't have been going on down there. Paul loved all the brethren. Paul went down there and he had church. He preached the gospel of Jesus Christ. But before he got ready to leave town, 
You had to tell the good people of Ephesus these words right here. Oh, Zion, what's the matter now? 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 You don't pray like you used to. 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 Paul had to go on down to another city. He went all the way down to Greece this time. Preached the gospel of Jesus Christ. Oh, they were singing and praising God and saying hallelujah and shouting and having church. But before Paul got ready to leave town, Paul had to tell him these words right here. Oh, Zion, what's the matter now? 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 Oh, Zion, you don't love like you used to. 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 Then Paul had to go on down to a church called Akinum. Told them the same thing. Went on down to another church called Samana. He had to tell them the same thing. Paul went on down to another church called Pergamos. He had to preach the gospel and tell them the same thing. Then he went on down to Sardis. Left that, went on down to the church called Philadelphia. Went on down to another church called Laodicea. Left that, went on down to Pythia. But before Paul left time, he had to tell them these words right here. Oh, oh Zion, what's the matter now? Oh, Zion, what's the matter now? Don't sing like you used to. You don't sing like you used to. You don't sing like you used to. You don't love 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 like you used to. Don't shout like you used to. Oh, you don't pray like you used to. You don't pray like you used to. You don't pray like you used to. You don't pray like you used to.
Her name was Aunt Hetty. We used to get dressed early on Sunday morning and we'd have to walk about three miles just to get to church. But oh, when we got there, it was one of those small sanctified churches where they speak in tongues a while, they testify a while, the preacher would preach a while, they'd sing a while, then they'd shout a while. But every Sunday morning when my Aunt Hetty would get happy, the preacher would look over there and say, Sister Hattie, will you sing a song for me? And she was always glad to sing a song because she needed a little bit of power to get through the following week. So she'd look up towards glory and she'd say these words right here. She was already happy. Power, power, Lord. Power the preach right. Power long. Power the preach right. Power long. Power. Power long. Power. Power long. Power the love right. Power long.
power, Lord. Power to walk right. Power, Lord. Power. Power, Lord. Power. Power, Lord. Power to moon right. Power, Lord. Power to moon right. Power, Lord. Power. Power, Lord. Power. Power, Lord. Power to talk right. Power, Lord. Power to talk right. Power, Lord. Power, Lord. Power. Power, Lord. Power to shout right. Power, Lord. Power to shout right. Power, Lord. Power. Power, Lord. Power. Power, Lord. Power to do right, power Lord. Power to do right, power Lord. Oh, come on, on that happy she said, power, power Lord. Power, power Lord. I need that power, power Lord. Need that power, power Lord. Need that power. Power, Lord, need that power, power, Lord, 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 power, the moon right. Power, Lord. Power, the moon, right? Power, Lord. Power, the wall, right? Power, Lord. Power, the wall, right? Power, Lord. days ago I had the privilege of going down to the prison camp. There was a friend of mine that had been down there for a few months. When I got down there and I had a chance to sit down and start talking with him, he told me, he said, well, Capo, you know, I've been down here now going on about eight months and I haven't seen my mother and I haven't seen my father. My wife and my kids, they haven't been by to see me. He said, but you know, we have a real good church service that goes on down here through the week. A few weeks ago, I went down to one of the night services and got down on my knees and gave my heart to Jesus. Oh, when I got up from there, felt like the weight of the world that had been on my shoulder, the Lord lifted it. Now I'm a born again believer. The Lord saved me that night. And we went on and we talked a little while longer. A few minutes later, the security said, made an announcement and said, it's time for everybody to go. Visiting hours is over. I gave my brother a hug and I told him I'd be back to see him. While we were on our way down the aisle, headed towards the gate, my brother called me and said, Brother Caper, let me tell you this right here. This is what he said. Woke up this morning feeling fine. Had my help and strength clothing my right mind. Don't have to worry. I don't have to fret. 
He's been so good to me, he's never failed me yet. I got a feeling, a good old feeling. Everything gonna be alright. Say it again, I got a feeling, a good old feeling. Everything is gonna be alright. Then he said these words. Sometimes I laugh, sometimes I cry. He's been good to me, he's always standing by. Sun's gonna shine in my life whenever you the rain. Don't have to worry about it. Trouble life can bring I got a feeling Good old feeling Everything Gonna be alright Say it again I got a feeling Good old feeling Everything is gonna be alright Then he said this right here Woke up this morning Feeling fine Had my health and strength Clothed in my right mind I don't have to worry I don't have to fret He's been so good to me he never failed me yet Got a feeling I got a feeling Gonna be alright. I got a feeling, good old feeling. Everything gonna be alright. Sometimes I laugh, sometimes I cry. He's been so good to me. He's always standing by. Sun gonna shine in my life whenever it rain. Don't have to worry about the trouble life can bring. I got a feeling, a good old feeling. of a man in the New Testament named Lazarus. He had two sisters, one named Mary and one named Martha. As a matter of fact, he was one of Jesus' best friends. Sometimes Jesus would go by and visit him and they'd talk and fellowship. Sometimes Jesus and the disciples would go by and they would have dinner with Brother Lazarus. Oh, they would have a good time. They'd have church. 
Lazarus loved Jesus and the disciples, and they loved him and his family. But Lazarus didn't know that later on he was going to get a little sick. He didn't know this was going to happen down the road because sometime, sooner or later, we all get sick. But the Lord will come by and he'll give us a miracle. He'll bless us real good. In the nick of time. But listen, one day, Jesus and the disciples was out of town and Lazarus got real sick. Mary and Martha said, Lazarus, we're going to send a servant to go find Jesus. We need him to come back and help you a little bit. I believe if you come back, you'll be made whole. The servant went to a far country and he found Jesus and the disciples and said, Jesus, your best friend Lazarus is sick. We need you to come see about it. Jesus said, the sickness is that my father might be glorified. I can't come right now, but we'll come a little later. Tell Lazarus if I'll be by to see him later. We can't come right now. I can imagine when the servant left on his way home, this is what he said. In the nick of time, he's going to bear your load. He's going to eat. Your man. When he got back to the house, he took Lazarus by the hand, and this is what he told him. Yeah, Lazarus, Jesus is gonna come. I know he'll come in the nick of time. He's gonna bear your load. When he get here, he's gonna ease your mind. A few days later, they sent another servant to get in touch with Jesus. By the time Lazarus had died and he had been dead for four days. When the servant got there, Jesus told the disciples, he said, fellas, let's go and see about my best friend Lazarus. The servant said, Jesus, you waited a little bit too late. Lazarus is already dead. The man been dead for four days. But Jesus said, he's not dead, he's just asleep, and I'm going to get him. Disciples, are y'all ready to go? One of the disciples said, I don't know if I'm going or not. The servant said the man was dead. But Jesus said, I said the man was not dead, he was just asleep. And I'm going to wake him up. Oh, yeah. He will come in the nick of time. Yeah, yeah. He will come in the nick of time. He's going to bear your load. When Jesus and the disciples got to Martha and Mary's house, all the mourners were there in the yard. They were crying, and Mary and Martha was crying. Jesus asked Mary a question. He said, Mary, do you believe that I am the resurrection? Mary said, Jesus, I don't know, but... One thing I do know, if you had not been here, my brother Lazarus wouldn't have died. He said, Mary, do you believe he'll live again? Mary said, yes, I believe. Jesus said, Mary, I just want you to show me when Lazarus' body is laying. They led Jesus up the hill. When he got up to the top of the hill where the tomb was, he paused for a minute and he looked up towards heaven. He 
and he said a prayer. He talked to his father for just a few minutes. When he finished the prayer, Jesus called out his name. He said, Lazarus. He said, oh, Lazarus. He said, what I want you to do, I want you to come forth. To bear your love. A few minutes later, everybody was watching Jesus on the hill. They heard him when he called Lazarus by his name. All of a sudden, Lazarus walked out stood in the doorway of the tomb. All the mourners was looking, the disciples were watching, Mary Martha was watching. Everybody started to rejoicing. It was a miracle, it was amazing. Then all of a sudden the servant said these words right here. Oh yeah, in the nick of time. He's gonna bear your load. He's gonna ease your mind. To bear your load. He's gonna bear your load. In the nick of time. To bear your load. Oh, yeah. Mind. To bear your 